Hello, I'm Helen Beedham, organisational expert, speaker and author, and here are my five top trends to track in the future of work. Trend number one is creating distraction-free environments by setting up quiet spaces online and in offices to allow people to concentrate and work really productively. By focusing on a few clear organisational priorities and keep asking, why are we doing this? And by checking assumptions when work is commissioned to explicitly confirm the deadlines and the output that's required. Trend number two is offering longer term careers. Organisations are looking to provide greater job security by minimising redundancies, reskilling and redeploying people wherever possible. They're acknowledging that people's ambitions vary by life stage, by background and by personal circumstances. And they're helping employees to be the CEO of their careers, with the manager acting as coach and HR providing the tools, data and the technology platform. Trend number three is rethinking business hours, business working hours specifically. And they're doing this by moving away from specifying formal business hours or fixed office hours. And instead, they're introducing principles guiding working time and giving teams the freedom to decide when and how they work together. And different solutions they're exploring include offering core working hours with flexibility either side of these, recognising time worked at weekends, and experimenting with the four-day working week. Trend number four is abandoning time as a measure of performance. So they're shifting away from using billable hours or time as your primary performance metric. Some innovative law firms are looking to do this. They're focusing instead on the outcomes, on what has actually been delivered. And just as importantly, they're also rewarding non-financial contributions as well. That's the how people have delivered, as well as the what. Finally, trend number five is nudging users into better digital choices by adding pre-designed meeting options to reduce time spent online on video calls, by giving people 10 to 15 minutes switching time between calls and meetings to help improve their cognitive functioning and look after their physical and mental health, and by analysing employees' online habits simply to spot early on any signs of overwork, excessive presenteeism and insufficient breaks.